have on Star Talk Tuesday on Top of Buying today with Miss Mia McLeod of McLeod and Associates answering your real estate and a little bit of mortgage questions as well. So, tumawag na po, gaya ng sinabi niya kanina. <laughs> ben is our first caller. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Yeah. Uh, okay lang, kasi magtatanong ako. Yes. Nung, ano, nung binili namin ng bahay po uh, around nine years ago or eight and a half years ago, okay. may additional na, na bathroom. Ngayong magpapa-refinance kami na lesser year, why they need to remove the bathroom? Okay. Ben, is the bathroom, was it permitted when you put it in there? Uh, no. But uh, uh, they asked me uh, if you want to remove it or not, but they accept it. We, we close the deal. Why, um, when we refinance, they don't want to close it until you demolish it. So when they bought it, the yeah. bathroom was already there. That's That didn't have yeah. a permit. Yeah. Oh, so Ben, when you bought the house, it already has a bathroom. No yeah. problem. But now you're refinancing. The lender is requiring you to demolish. demolish. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this is the thing. Different lenders sometimes require different... Uh, they have different guidelines. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend, you know, maybe you can give us a call at the office or uh, leave your information with Maureen mm -hmm. or someone like that. Our office number again, 909-612-9488. So it's not to confuse yes. viewers. That's a Talk Tuesday number. Later on, Ben, if you watch till the end of the program, we'll put up uh, McLeod & Associates number so that you know, people get confused and there's many numbers. Yes. So that's for the purposes of the show today. That's a Talk Tuesday number. Now, the problem, the, the question is, Amiya, is there a blanket um, answer that you can give to that? Just so for the others who may find themselves in a similar situation, what's yes. the best thing to do aside from calling you directly? Okay. So, typically, if the bathroom or the addition is done with a good standard, right. they, no lenders don't have a problem with it. It's if the addition uh, was done and it's not well put together. Right. That's where they normally have a problem. So, I'm surprised that the lender is requiring in that I was case, Thinking, can they go back to the lender that helped them buy the house? They, yeah, they might be able to go to their current bank. I'm right. wondering who they went with uh -huh. uh, to apply for the refinance right. because uh -huh. they might be able to go back to the current bank and right. say, hey, you, you know, we got this. this or, yeah, right. like I want to refinance now. Right. So I still recommend give us a call. Um, I can go over some other options with you. All right. Adita is on the line. Hi, Adita. Hi. Hi. for calling in. There's many different programs that you can take advantage of. I know on a previous show I highlighted the CHADAP program. The CHADAP program you can be eligible with no down payment, but there's certain income requirements. So depending on the county that you're purchasing in, if you exceed the income requirement for that, then you won't be eligible. But if you stay within the limited income requirement, then you could take advantage of that program, which again can offer a zero down payment. Um, if you're a veteran, zero down payment. FHA loan, 3.5%, but there might be options where maybe you could um, get it gifted. They're very flexible with their guidelines, so it doesn't have to come from Adita's own pocket. It can come from 401ks. It can come from relatives. It can come from employers. Again, it's only 3.5%, and FHA has uh, great low interest rates. Um, and the other smaller down payment is the 5% down conventional. Mm -hmm. But if she's talking about zero down, the CHADAP program or the VA program is the best. And again, guys, we're going to be uh, showing you Mia's number later at the end of the program. So abangan niyo po yan if you want to have a more in-depth consultation with her and her team. Meanwhile, Evelyn is on the line. Hi, Evelyn. What's going happen to Hi. What's going to happen to you, Janelle, and Mia? Hi, Evelyn. Ang question ko, ang question ko, mayroon akong property sa Davao. Okay. Uh, actually, sa Panabo City. Pwede ba natin, uh, cover nyo rin ba ang ano, Philippines? At saka, pwede ba natin ilagay sa market dito? Oh, so baka may mga buyers, okay. baka may mga buyers na from here, na taga Panabo City or Davao City who is interested to buy the prop properties in Panabo. 
Okay. So, pwede ba yun? Okay, but uh, personally, I don't personally do properties in the Philippines. However, we do have a very strong trusted affiliation of families that I can, or people in the business in the Philippines that I can introduce you to or connect you to, and you can interview with them and see if it's a good fit. Because there are realtors here that also sell properties there. Yeah. Uh, so, pwede yun? Well, but you personally, and for McLeod and Associates, you don't do that. There, it depends on what type. It sounds like hers is um, a property. That, it's not a condo. Mm -hmm. So here, you know, like the the condo buildings that they make the high rise. Yes. You don't need to be licensed to sell those. So oh, you can okay. sell those here, and right. a lot of people can do that. Okay. Uh, we do have some agents in our office that dabble in that that kind of uh, niche. Um, but if you're talking about a property, land with a house on it right. that's being sold, you can market it like within our database and our network, mm -hmm. but as far as handling the transaction, mm -hmm. being licensed to handle it, right. you really want to consult um, a uh, someone in, in the, the Philippines. Philippines. Someone that's who licensed. knows the... That's licensed as yeah. a realtor over there, too. Exactly. Yeah. All right, more questions when we return on the show. Don't go away.